hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can troubleshoot the issue not connected no connections are available on windows 7 8 and 10 so without wasting your time let's get started so step number one will be the troubleshooting automatically guys so first of all you need to right click on your wi-fi here and first you need to click on troubleshoot the problem if the problem is related to the software it will automatically solve your issue you just need to wait here so I will categorize this video into two parts the first part is for those user whose Wi-Fi was working fine but after some time it was not working and the second part is for those users whose Wi-Fi is not working from the beginning okay so once you have troubleshoot this issue it will be completed and it will try to fix the issue related to the software level so if the troubleshooting has completed and unable to fix our issue we have to move on to the next method you just need to open here the run command you can press windows plus r button together and on the search you need to type her ncpa.cpl this is the advanced command to open the system properties of Wi-Fi and once you have reached there you need to make sure that the Wi-Fi is listed here if Wi-Fi is listed here and it is disabled you need to right click it and simply enable it if some kind of issues is you are facing still so you can enable it and then disable it then disable it and re-enable it once you need to process this by this way your windows services will be restarted and after that check back if you are able to connect with the Wi-Fi or not if you are unable to fix your issue and Wi-Fi is not listed here that means that you have to check the driver and its services if the Wi-Fi is not listed here so let me show you how to go that again you need to open the command with the windows plus r and type there this time services.msc as shown on the screen services.msc open it and on the search you need to look for wlan auto config click anywhere on the services and press w on your keyboard and look for the service wlan auto config and make sure it is running just right click it go to its properties and select a startup type to automatic start service click on apply and click on ok it has started let's restart it so once we have restarted it again go to control panel here and check back refresh it and check back if you are able to find out the services of Wi-Fi or not if still not guys then we have to move on to the device manager to check the driver is installed there or not type the device manager and in here we need to look for network adapters here double click on it and sometimes the driver may hidden here if you are able to find out the driver you just need to right click and simply update the driver browse this choose the latest driver of Wi-Fi next and by this way you should able to install the latest driver if the Wi-Fi driver is itself not available here click on your computer host name go to view show hidden devices and once you click on show hidden devices you should able to see the Wi-Fi listed here if you were able to see the Wi-Fi listed here again same process you need to follow just update the driver click on next and you should able to install the driver from here also you can scan for hardware changes here
if after applying these methods the Wi-Fi driver is not itself available here so what we can do is click on your computer hostname action add legacy hardware we are going to add the hardware choose this option next click on network adopters hit next and this will filter the network related options select the first one then on the right hand side look for Wi-Fi listed here select the second option as you can see here Wi-Fi listed here so once you have selected the correct Wi-Fi so these Wi-Fi driver could be confusing guys you have to check the suitable driver for your windows let's say I have to choose this let me select next and it should able to install the Wi-Fi listed driver here and then you can reinstall it once okay still it is yellow explanation so you have to uninstall this okay and try again with the another driver here network next look for another one hit next if you are still unable to fix the issue you have to use the USB T3 or you can use the LAN cable on your laptop so I will link a video how you can use the USB T3 you can connect with your phone Wi-Fi and then you should able to browse the internet on your Windows 7 and thereafter you need to go to the browser and let me open the Google Chrome I will link a video how you can do the details and press windows plus R type as CMD type the command in order to get the serial number BIOS get serial number as shown on the screen and you need to select your mark your serial number like this and you need to simply copy it once you have copied it you need to go to browser like Dell driver if you are using the Dell and once you go to official link you need to put the serial number over there and install the suitable driver for your hardware and thereafter you should fix the issue related to the Wi-Fi on your Windows so I hope guys this video is really helpful for you. If yes then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.